RX 350. It was a white Christmas for some parts of Southern California, and that could now cause some problems on the roads. The storm brought snow, rain, and chilly temperatures, and more wet weather is on the way. Travelers planning to catch a flight may have some trouble from canceled flights to limited staff. The impact that surge in COVID cases is having on airports nationwide. And out with the old and in with the new, Staples Center officially becomes Crypto.com Arena. The changes you can expect to see the next time you catch a concert or a basketball game. You're watching NBC4. Here's what's happening today in L.A. Well, good morning and thank you for waking up with us here at 7 a.m. It is Sunday, December 26. I'm Michelle Vias. You may have heard the raining overnight, but we are getting a break from it today. The sun is shining. Let's check in with meteorologist Shauna Mendiola. You're tracking more rain on the way, but let's talk about today first. Yeah, let's get through today in a beautiful break from that rain. So last night was round two of four storms that will move through Southern California. It was a very quick one that brought some snow to the mountains. Cool conditions here and now clear skies as it moves out 50 degrees right now in Long Beach. We had a little bit of rain overnight about a four uh, hundredths of an inch. So really not too much, but enough to wet that pavement. And again, for you to hear it last night, check out today's forecast, though. We clear out to sunshine temperatures in the upper 50s from the beaches to L.A. and even the valleys in the upper 50s. So it's a cool day ahead, but we got dry conditions and a day to prepare for the next round. I'll break down when we expect round number three in your first alert weather forecast. Michelle, back to you. Thank you, Shauna, as she mentioned, the wet and icy conditions could cause some issues for drivers. Today is one of the busiest holiday travel days on the road, so you'll want to take it slowly and pack your patience. NBC4's Lauren Coronado is live along the grapevine. Oh, my goodness, all bundled up and ready to go. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Michelle. It's a chilly morning out here along the grapevine, and I want to show you guys some of the dusting of snow here on these snow-capped mountains. It's looking beautiful. The sunrise is really nice, too. We're seeing that pink glow overhead, but you are going to want to be careful on the road. The National Weather Service is warning about dangerous winter weather driving conditions this morning. Those traveling through those wind-prone areas, be advised, you may experience gusts up to 55 miles per hour. Consider traveling with a flashlight, extra food and water in the event you hit troubles on the road. AAA says they're prepared to rescue about 150,000 stranded drivers. You don't want to be in that position. I also want to break down AAA's worst and best time for travel predictions. Listen up. If you're hitting the road today, you might want to avoid traveling between 1 and 7 o'clock. If possible, leave before noon. Tomorrow will be another busy travel day. You're advised to get on the road before 1 o'clock. Then, of course, New Year's Eve. AAA advises folks to head out before 1 in the afternoon or after 5. January 2nd is slated to be one of the busiest times to travel this holiday season. Try leaving after 1 o'clock. Back out here live, I also want to show you guys conditions just along the freeway as you exit the off-ramp here. You can see there's even snow at these low elevations. So that's something to be aware of. As you know, the later it gets, the colder it gets. So be aware of the icy roads to bring chains if you are going to be traveling in those higher elevations. But if we're seeing snow at these low elevations, you can only imagine what it's like in some of those ski resorts like Mammoth Mountain. So I know this is really good news for those skiers and snowboarders. Reporting live, Lauren Coronado, NBC.